Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. I thought I would uh, once again do something a little different and this time show you at least some of my Frank Zappa CDs. I have 35 Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention CDs and I believe he has over 60 official releases and then since his passing the family has released more and more CDs like bootlegs and whatnot which I've never bought but we'll see how this goes and uh, I'll go through at least some of them and I also did on my Canadian Stud Muffin channel I did a vinyl unboxing of two albums one John and Yoko's Two Virgins and this vinyl album of Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Inventions were only in it for the money so you can check that out on my Canadian Stud Muffin channel. The link's in the description. Their debut album from 1966, one of the first double albums besides uh, Bob Dylan's Blonde on Blonde, Freak Out, which I love. And all of these are, were remastered about three years ago. And they're all numbered, so this, of course, is number one, if you can see that. Hard to focus, I guess. And I remember uh, I was likely in grade six, and this other kid in my class came to school with this album, this vinyl album. I guess he found it on the street. It was <laughs> tossed on the street. There were no rec no records in it. It was just the cover. And I was just fascinated. I'd never heard this music. I, I just loved the cover and I thought that might be something I'd be interested in. But I never actually heard Frank Zappa until 1975 when I bought uh, One Size Fits All, this 1975 album, and I loved it right away. And all of these remastered albums are excellent, really, really, really well done. And I believe that's the uh, original gatefold. There's the label. I don't think I'll go through all 35 or this will be a two-hour video. I'll just uh, select some of my favorite covers. His second, or their second album, because at first it was just the Mothers of Invention, of course. The Mothers of Invention, absolutely free. Another uh, album of theirs I really love, <laughs> Kill Ugly Radio. That's Frank Zappa for you. And all of the lyrics. I guess they, uh, I read that they trademarked his uh, mustache. And this is the CD label. And as you can see right there, it says number two. And I showed you the vinyl, and this is the 
remastered CD. We're only, we're only in it for the money. An interesting tidbit that I never knew until recently at this photo session, right there is Jimi Hendrix, and he was actually at that photo session, so he's really standing there with the band members. And when this was originally released, there was some kind of uh, issue with them having this as the album cover. I don't know if it was the record label or the Beatles. So this was actually, that right there was actually the album cover. And that was the back of it. And the inside, well, it's easier to show you here, in case you haven't seen the other video. And this, this was the inner sleeve which is kind of defeating the purpose of the whole joke, I guess. But So once again, I saw this album, that cover, at, a, uh, at some store in a cutout bin, and I couldn't buy it back then because it was only like 10. But it was like, you know, just looking at that was like, I'd like to listen to that someday. photo of the cover. This is number four. And looks like some outtakes from the back cover. This is number five, and it doesn't even really men mention the Mothers of Invention or Frank Zappa until you take a look at the back cover, and then you, most people would realize, ah, it's a Frank Zappa album. This is Cruising with Reuben and the Jets. Is this, well, it does actually does mention them. Is this the Mothers of Invention recording under a different name in a last-ditch attempt to get their Cruddy music on the radio. And this is a, a really excellent 50s era music like doo wop and everything, and really well done. It's this is picture. I wouldn't say there's too many people in rock music that I would call a genius, but Frank Zappa was definitely a genius. set a jelly roll. <laughs> now, sometimes the Mothers of Invention had some weird album covers, and this is one of them. And now you see it's, they've changed it to Zappa, Mothers of Invention. Uncle Meat, a, a double album. Excellent, but very bizarre and kind of uh, creepy cover. And the back isn't much less creepy. And this has two booklets. And 
I did have this on vinyl years ago. And that's the inside. There's the cover blown up a little bit more. And then it has this booklet, Uncle Neat. And this was a film Frank Zappa was going to do, but I don't think he ever finished it. But I could be wrong. Like I said, there's two CDs here. I have just been killed by the government because I knew too much. Hmm. And I'll just quickly go through a few more here. One of my all-time favorite album covers because it's so bizarre. Weasels ripped my flesh. And this is number 10. Mothers of Invention on stage. And this album, later on, moving ahead a couple of years, or at least a year, yeah, a couple of years, is one I didn't really care for at first, and then of course, you know, you gotta listen to some albums more than once to really appreciate them. The Grand Wazoo, definitely one of my favorite Frank Zappa albums. If you're a fan of jazz rock, I highly recommend it. Here's all the musicians. Love this cover. And it's by the same artist on a lot of Frank Zappa's albums. Carl... I'd have to read the credits here. Cal Schenkel. You can always tell his uh, music. Always tell his work. Very detailed. The Legend of Cletus Aritus, Aritus and the Grand Zoo. You know, and some of these CDs, it's almost like you're almost entertained as much <laughs> just looking at the, uh, the booklets and the artwork as you are by the music. Two more going way ahead into his career. Zappa, the man from Utopia. Uh, once again, a kind of uh, bizarre album cover.
and back cover. This is when uh, Steve Vai, the famous guitarist, was in the band. And this is almost like a poster. Not that I would want that hang up on, on my wall. And this is number 36. If this gets, and if this video gets enough comments and, you know, a decent amount of views, I will do a part two for this. And finally, this was when I lost all interest in further Frank Zappa albums when he released this three album set, three, three album vinyl set. I just did not like the album. And it is Zappa Thingfish. Here he is with Ike Willis, one of the singers. This cardboard. It's almost like a Elephant Man type of uh, deal. And it's got the booklet with the uh, lyrics. Thingfish, original cast recording, number 41. And it's two CDs, because it was a three album set. And I see uh, my cat Jinx was really into this video. I hope the viewers aren't like Jinxes. So uh, thank you for watching, and like I said, if there is enough interest in this video, I will do a part two and maybe a part three. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.